Hey Ratbags, it's Jade. Core Keepers update is out everywhere now for you on Steam. Go and check it out. The brand new Sunken Sea. Whole branch of new items, armors, weapons. I've got a whole lot to show you. Everything you can pretty much craft. Whole bunch of items I found exploring the new biomes and just talking about some of the resources, including a vending machine, how to face the golems and more. So let's go. So our show and tell begins with the Octarine workbench and the anvil and a brand new accessories bench as well. Plus, one of the most exciting finds was this. It's a vending machine. It sells a bunch of consumables that are pretty OP. So finally, if you've got a billion credits stacked up, you can use them to buy lots and lots of more useful items maybe while you adventure. So let's go ahead and buy all this stuff. I'll show you what it means, as well as all the other items we've already got and a little bit of the biome that you're gonna be adventuring in. Oh, and of course, we did also get the boat ship crafting table. And we did also get a bait table, brand new one. That was in the first episode. So go and check them out if you want to catch up more. Now we're going to need these to summon one of the bosses. I will show you the actual brand new biome in a second as well and what dangers to face. But let's go and see what actually happens when we um, try some of these new trinkets out. So here's all my coinage that I've had for ages now. Oh yeah, and we've got some new plants growing. You can see them in the corner there. Let's take care of this guy with my new weapon. The, the bow is amazing. It fires pretty rapidly, does a lot of damage. Much better than a musket. But yeah, these are my new fruits. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy some of these consumables. We'll have pretty much one of each just to start. Let's get some more credits and buy the rest of them rings and stuff. Okay, so we've bought consumables. Let's buy some of these. Okay, that's the last one. So we'll put that in there. And then I'm pretty much just going to list off all this stuff once we've used it. But let's start in this chest. So, so far, out of loot, we found a rusted necklace. It's going to give you 19% mining damage. That was a loot drop from defeating enemies. Turtle shell, another loot drop from defeating enemies or breaking open some of the crates. That's going to give you 32 armor, 9% reduced damage taken from bosses, can be equipped in the offhand. The iron bow we found gives 99 damage to 119 ranged, 1.4 attack per speed second, and 17.9 range damage. It's also got durability of 250. And I'm just going to show you what these next weapons actually do and look like. Because we also got a bubble gun, 91 to 111 range damage, 2.5 attack per second, 35% chance on hit to apply slippery movement. So it's got 350 durability. So yeah, the boat is kind of super cool. I'm digging it a lot. It's quick, it's fast. Now look at the bubble machine. Two hits and it's done. And it kind of lingers there. Now there are some enemies, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Crabs that fire the same sort of thing. And they can be deadly for you. Thank God our own bubbles don't seem to hurt us. It can damage some of your other stuff around. So you've got to be careful that. And it has just made me realise that I should really make sure my soul power's off. And you can see we've also got a new soul of Omarath. Let's go and take on some of these dudes that are down here. Oh, look at that. Bam. Absolutely loving this weapon. Loving it. You can see he's going pretty slippery, moving around. And that's what it does to you. It makes you move around a bit weirdly. Obviously, it has got durability on it. So it can run out pretty rapidly as well. So you've got to be a bit careful. But I absolutely love this weapon. Let's put that back for a second. Then we've got the Octarine Bars. This is the stuff that we're obviously going to be mining a lot of. You do need a whole bunch of it, of course, to craft. The planks and the coral planks. So obviously there is coral wood that you'll find. I've got some growing. If you want to do this yourself, then it's just like other wood. You will need to plant some of it into some actual beach ground. So make sure you pick up some of the beach sand. But once you've got maybe two or three spots, that's it. It will grow over normal dirt. And again, you're going to need a whole ton of this stuff. So make sure you get some of this and you start growing it. Or if you've already developed a wood farming machine, well now you can even process it and set up the new part of it. They've got to be powered by electricity and I showed you guys this yesterday's video. But yeah, you can basically make some planks in here. Now I'm not going to put too many in here because you do need some just raw wood for certain things, weapons and items. But that's what we've got so far. And you can see the boats are going to be using some planks. The regular boat just needs normal wood planks. But the speeder, the speeder is going to need the coral planks. So that's the planks sorted. We've also got seashells. You'll dig these up using the spade. It does look like there are certain things that require that for crafting. Again, I'll show you in a second. Then we have got this bait. Now I did show this off, but yeah, we've got more of it now. 
Effectively, we have got a boss now that we need to go and summon using the bait. Come to your hologram guy, and you should see it here. I'm with the Sea Titan scanner. That's what we need the seashells for. And the actual bait itself, here you go. One purple bait, 30 spicy bait, 30 sweet bait, 30 glowing bait, 30 octarine bars, and 10 ancient gemstones. So we've nearly got all of them baits here. The only one I don't have right now is the purple. Now these can also be used, obviously, to get just more fish. 9% faster for the spicy, 10% chance to get a fish on the hook for sweet bait, and fish start 7% closer to be reeled in. I do believe the other one gives you more chance of getting loot when you fish. Yeah, that's the glowing bait. But yeah, the purple one, I'm guessing we need to find a purple one, or there's got to be some other way of crafting it. Because clearly, it's not in the extra crafting bench. So you're not going to be able to rush out and do this boss fight until you find that purple bait. Okay, then after that, we've got a bunch of decorative items. I stole these all from some of the dungeons. They're basically called the city. It's literally a core city, and they're pretty much in homage, I swear, to obviously Yoda. So we've got limestone brick here. That's what you'd be digging up while you're looking for your octarine. And if you mix it with the coral planks, you get coral walls. So we'll show you that in a second as well. Let's just go and get some. And we could go ahead and make a little room Maybe over here. In fact, let's get rid of that. And then I've got enough space to put this down. We've even got a little fireplace. So this can all be dug up from the cities when you go and find them. I do kind of want to put this bookcase down. Let's go and put this somewhere else just for now. And yeah, not usable, but certainly for decoration, it's nice. And there's all different styles of them too. Last thing you find is plant boxes. So I don't think you can actually put seeds in them to make them grow. Instead, you just put the food in there and it will make it look nice. Also, you can get some driftwood wooden crates, and I only just discovered this now, after hours, hundreds of hours of playing Core Keeper, that you can actually pick them up with a spade and bring them back. Kind of like them, they kind of look cool. Then we've got a bubble crab figurine, which you can place on one of the pedestals in a second. There we go. Then we've got various plants, land kelp and tall land kelp. And again, you can grow them on just regular beach ground. The coral seeds is obviously what you get from the coral wood. And then we've got our pupua seed and our pine grapple seed. Pine grapple is going to give you more melee damage and pupua seed is going to give you more ranged. So you can combine two of the grapple and you'll get 22.4% melee damage for 20 seconds, 5.4 health damage for 20 seconds and 30 food. And if you combine both of them together, you get a juicy tropic smoothie 6.3 health every second for 20 seconds, 22 melee and 22 range damage. Although the range damage is for five minutes. So yeah, absolutely go ahead and make loads of these smoothies. They seem pretty OP. That's so far the only fruit I've actually found just yet. And we've got some more valuables that we found. Geodes, bubble pearl, shark tooth, forked coral, and a rusty fishing hook. And we did get some new armor pieces. The Scholar's Cloak and Hood. These drops again from Killian, obviously the City Cavelins. 29 extra max health, 8 extra armor, 4% dodge chance, 3.1 range attack speed. And the cloak gives 42 max health, 11 armor, 5% dodge chance, 5% critical chance. When you stand up against the Scarlet, it's pretty similar. In fact, it's got better health, maybe not as good armor, but the critical chance is just as good. Now obviously this does come with a free set bonus, but yeah, it does mean you will be able to mix up a few things as it's only a two set bonus, which is going to give you 25% damage against bosses. But they look pretty cool. The city floor you can use for water. It's basically an extra bridge or to make the water into land a bit easier. Just like that. So it's going to be a good way to be able to craft your own island somewhere. So that's all the stuff I've found so far. What have we got inside the vending machine? So I won't bother eating the consumables. They're pretty, we'll just go through what they do. Cave coffee, 23% movement speed for 20 seconds. Glazed heartberry, 10 food, 65 max health for five minutes. Cave crunch, 19 food, 50 minor damage for five minutes. Tentacle jerky, 19 food, 20% chance to knock back for two minutes. Heartberry soda, 15 health every second for 10 seconds. And then crystal water, 15% critical hit chance for 30 seconds. Now, I've missed out a few half little points there, but you get the idea. And pretty much they all cost around 96 to 100 credits. 
Now let's take a look at some of these. I'm presuming it is... Oh! Son of a get. Yeah, son of a get. I was not watching. I destroyed my planter. How dare ye. Right, let's go and put this down. Yeah, and it is just a nice figurine. Oracle Cards Metropolis, a card mint condition with golden borders and an image of an ancient sea. Looks like it's part of a set. So I'm guessing these are just some collectibles. Now it is something you can just go ahead and sell. Now considering it cost me 3000 odd to buy, how much do you get if you were to sell one to a trader? Only 250 wow, okay. Can we put these on a altar? Yeah, there we go. Basically Pokemon cards. And then we've got that ring. It's a lucky one. 7% chance to gain an additional ore from walls containing ores. 7% chance to get a valuable or other non-fish item on the hook when fishing. Okay, that's not too bad. So there we go. That is pretty much all of the stuff I've found so far. I will do another video once I've got every single item. But certainly I've gone through everything you can craft and everything you can get from the vending machine. Or have I? Actually, let's go and take a look at some more of the stuff. So tools and weapons wise, let's rack it up. Scarlet Pickaxe does 67 to 81 melee damage, 282 mining damage, 2.5 attacks per second. The Octarine one does 87 to 105 melee damage, 2.5 attacks per second, but 403 mining damage, so it's pretty OP. The Shovel is going to give you 160 digging damage, 71 to 85 melee damage. The Sword is going to do 165 to 201 melee damage but also has a 5.9% melee attack speed. Octarine Fishing Bar, 238 fishing, and the bag. Now this bag is really interesting. Not only does it give you extra infantry slots or more, you also get 13 armor and free glow from it. Only costs 25 bar and 20 Octarine Bars to make. The rest of the items do cost just Octarine Bars and Coral Wood. So don't put all your Coral Wood into planks, save some for some of these. When it comes to the anvil, it's 15 Octarine Bars, the jewellery workbench is 8 coral planks, 15 Noctuin bars and 10 gold bars. And then we've got the portal. Now these are some of the new features where you can teleport to places. But there is a cooldown when you place it. So obviously I haven't got enough materials yet. But we will go and dig and I'll show you guys that in the next episode. Alongside anything else new I find. And then yeah, we've got the various cosmetics and base building stuff. The lit floor looks pretty cool. I'm hesitant to use a precious Octuin bar for it. I'm guessing it's going to glow in the dark. At the anvil, obviously more armor and weapons. The helm, Octarine helm, 29 max health, 15 armor, 6.6 .6 mining speed. The breastplate, 37 max health, 22 armor, 6% melee attack speed. And the pants going to give you 32 max health, 18 armor, 5.6 .6 range attack speed. If you wear all three, you're going to get an attack speed increase by 0.2% for every percentage of missing health. So effectively, the lower you are, the more damage you're going to be doing. We've also got a shield here, 37% max health, 20% armor. It's going to reduce any incoming damage by 70%. Octarine bow, 149 to 181 range damage, 1.4 attack per second, 5.5 range attack speed. And the axe, 245 to 299 melee damage. It's got to be the highest hitting weapon in the game. 1.7 attacks per second, 16% critical hit chance. So yeah, as soon as I get more bars, I shall certainly be making some of them. And then lastly, to show you the accessories. So hopefully you guys can make your choice what one you're going to make first, if you've only got a little bit of ore. Coral Amulet, 11% boat speed. Scarlet Chunk Necklace, 19% armor. You need lots of wood for the amulet, and you're obviously going to need lots of Scarlet Bars for the Chunk Necklace. The Octarine Necklace, 5.8 melee and range attack speed. 30 Octarine Bars, 5 Ancient Gemstones. Magnetic Ring, 108 pickup radius, 30 Iron Bars. So that's going to be great for everyone that's got their farms and mob farms. You can just simply whack that on, a quick one around, and you pick up everything that's been dropped. Golden Spike Ring, 6% critical hit chance, 11% forms damage. You just need Iron and Gold Bars for that. And the Octarine Ring, 2.9% melee attack speed, 2.9 range attack speed, 5 ancient gemstones. Woo! I think that is pretty much it. So again, I've already shown you guys, like I said, the fishing table. And we've seen the boat table as well. Doesn't appear to be any new potions. Not out of this stuff anyway. And there are no other crafting benches here. And just a reminder that the bait workbench can be found in a tin crafting bench and if you want the boat workbench the Octarine workbench they're both inside a scarlet workbench 
And if you're looking for the saws, then yeah, they're inside the electronics workbench here. So let's go for a quick run around the new zone just to show you guys what it all looks like. Okay, so we'll take the new bow with us. Could try the ring, the turtle shell. So let's go ahead and reinforce these. Three scrap parts, eight octoing bars. But that should be pretty good. Maybe the bow, just need two iron bars for the iron bow. So you're not too far before we get there. The beach is absolutely huge. Be great to also be able to have a base around here. But you do find these guys. Let's put some torches around just to show him off a little bit more. So yeah, they're pretty dangerous. They don't do any kind of attack when you're close to them. And you don't get hurt just by touching them. But these are pretty deadly. It only takes a couple and then it moves you around really slowly. So let's go ahead and take care of him. There we go. New bow seems pretty decent, even just the iron version. Now you won't be able to explore this area until obviously you have defeated the first three bosses. So if you're wondering why you can't actually go here, then yeah, that's why. Now, these guys are even more deadly. They fling out these and yeah, you just start to get hit by them. But here's the fruit. That's what we're picking up. There's loads and loads of stuff to pick up. Let's make sure we deal with this guy. You can see there, 106 damage they're doing there. So plenty of the fruit is what it looks like. And we have got a spade, so I might as well dig into it. So we were kind of lucky. I did explore all the way up here. I went in the boat. But actually, super, super close was this brand new city. Let's see if we get inside it again. There's lots of little hidey holes. This is all filled with furniture. This is all the stuff I didn't have a chance to bring back. But it's more or less more decorations. Playing dice, antique board game, sealed beverages to sell, broken vending machine, and these small hollow boards. Also urban moss and a septum ring, which I didn't actually bring back. I should have done. In fact, I might even put that on now in a second. So obviously, even with this pickaxe, you can't break through the city walls. Now these guys, they will fire quite big balls of energy. Take some more of these with a swell. Yeah, I knew there was something there. Let's give him a taste of his own medicine. Ah, oh, they do linger, them balls. So there is another city here, which hopefully we can swim across to. Though I might just try using my bridges. There we go. So again, plenty of decorative pieces if you want to take them. This one down this way. So these are the stone golems. Now they're not all active and they can be activated. You can destroy them, but it looks like sadly you can't take them with you. Not that I've found yet anyway. I'm not taking any chances. Come on. Oh, oh, okay, here we go. Oh, and they make themselves stronger as well. Oh. So here he is. Yeah, it's pretty big and powerful. And again, they get the same sort of power, I do think, from the other guys. Ugh. Oh. Oh. You only get wood and, yeah, some of the uh, scrap parts. You know what, it's time to get bubbled. Okay, more bookcases. Fireplace in every room. So there you go, you get the idea. That is, so far, everything inside the new Core Keepers update, apart from the bosses and a few little items we haven't picked up yet. Just going to zip off into my boat and check out this area, see if it does lead to anything else. Absolutely loving this game. Hopefully do some more guides and we're going to work our way to getting full max brand new armor from these new resources and hopefully unlocking the boss fight. So I'll see you right back some more Core Keeper soon. Bye bye.